Ayy, told me these things, I need me a break Ayy, I'm in a new mood, I need a new boo, I need a new bag What's up, what's up, man? Welcome back to the channel This Keyhole Vision And it's my channel, man Look, I just want to say thank you to all the people who viewed the last videos I did about you know, my prison stories. And thank you to the people who just view my channel in particular. I do everything on the channel. Videos. I do, uh, I be having skits dropped on my channel. I do vlogging on my channel, man. So you might see anything on this channel. But either way, thank y'all for tuning in. And this is another episode of Crazy Prison Stories, all right? So I've been telling stories about my time in prison, right? in federal prison. I was sent to 25 years in federal prison when I was like 21 years old. Now, before I go on, let me just say this. I don't in no way promote or glorify like what I went through. I want nothing cool about it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say that for any youngsters that's watching. But at the same time, you know, that's my story and I earn and I own also the right to speak about it and tell my story. So if y'all fucking with it, man, continue to tune in. You're gonna see a lot of shit on this channel, but we right back at it. So this story, this crazy prison story right here, um, I'm skipping in the timeline, y'all. I'm just be telling y'all stories all over the place. I ain't right? because this 15 years worth of shit. Like, you know, so I'm gonna give y'all stories here and now and then, you know, as we go. But this particular story, I was a little bit further in my time I was in Inglewood, Colorado. So by this time, I'm like, a, I'm a vet in prison. Like I'm, I'm a veteran at this shit. I have been in prison at this time for a long time. So I was there, my bro was there too. You know what I'm saying? We was blessed to link back up and get together. And uh, we ended up in Colorado. We did about, I wanna say about seven, maybe eight years there together at Sally's. So that was a gift and a curse at the same time. <laughs> yeah, bro, though, what I'm talking about, man. Shout out to my bro, Nitto Boss. Y'all check him out on Facebook. Shout out to him, man. Um, So, yeah. Inglewood, Colorado. I'm on the baseball field. Let me lay it out for you. I get into a, I get into a fight. Colorado. Colorado. Damn, my phone tweaking, what? These guys just, just picking up on stuff for no reason. Anyway, I'm in Colorado, right? Baseball field. I'm a veteran in prison at this time. You know, I, I kind of, you know, know how to move and shape, you know. I know the do's and the don'ts. Um, I got respect, you know, I give respect. So I'm moving how I want to move. Me and bro, like, basically running the joint. I ain't going to even lie. If anybody tell you from those years of... Uh, when we get there, I want to say, oh, seven, we got there. We got there in oh seven and stayed till like 2014, 2015, something like that. I might be a little off on the timeline, it's a little blurry. But anyway, for those years, man, they'll tell you, like me and bro ran, I ain't talking about like on no, you know, gang shit like that. But we, we have been there so long that everybody knew us. We had was like, Growing with the COs, like COs coming in as rookies, and we still there seven, eight years later, and now they captains and you know what I'm saying, they running shit. So we had like a lot of respect, not only with the inmates, but with the staff as well, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this time to what I'm telling you in the story. So I'm on the baseball field, right? You know, it's my fuck be out on the yard having baseball games. I'm on the baseball field. And at this joint, this joint is a little more looser, the security a little more looser. This is like a low security joint. And dudes, the respect level ain't as high as like when I first went in, when you go to, when, when you went to the like maximum security prisons, the respect, the respect level is like super low here. So, but it's still a respect level. It's still like things to be understood amongst men. So, but you still got your fractions. You got you got your white boys. You got the Mexicans. You got the Crips. You got the you got this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's a little more unorganized, but it's there. So I'm on the yard. Um, I'm chilling with one of my native cats. You know what I'm saying? Cool native dude, man. There's a lot of native cats locked up with that. Uh, I ran into. It was pretty cool. He's from like North Dakota or something. I can't think of his name right now. But I'm sitting there with him. 
and we on the yard and shit. We watching watching a baseball game in practice or something. I'm sitting over there. People usually go over there, you know, smoke their square. At this time, cigarettes banned and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, motherfucker go over there and, you know, chill back out the way and smoke their little cigarettes or whatever, smoke a joint, talk shit or whatever. And uh, I'm sitting there talking shit with the native cat and, and his white, big ass white boy sitting there. Now, I know the dude, you know what I'm saying? I actually been around him for a couple of years doing time. He was actually on my unit. And, um, no, I take that back. He wasn't on my unit. He wasn't on my unit. He ended up on my unit later on, but he wasn't on my unit at the time. Uh, so this the, the white boy, um, he was sitting out there too and shit. And I guess he was part of the team, so he's sitting on the bench. But he involved in the conversation. So we talking, and, and it came up. We was talking about COs. You know, the COs have been. It was some new COs there, and they was, like, real petty. You know what I'm saying? I was going in, raiding lockers, taking extra pictures, taking extra, you know, if you ain't had too many pairs of shoes, it's just petty stuff. So, you know, the MS was complaining. Motherfuckers was like, man, you know, there's some bullshit. Ooh. So I understood that everybody had that in common. You know, talk shit about the COs, man. They used to be on some some, some bullshit, you know. And, um, shit, we talking, we talking about that. You know, me and the cat, he, he like, yeah, man, the CO hit my cell. Ooh. And I guess the white boy was so comfortable in the conversation that he was like, yeah, the fucking, um, they got me too. They got me too, motherfucker hit myself. So the native cat was like, man, which, which, you know, who hit yourself with CO and shit? He was like, you know, oh, that fucking nigger cop. That's how quiet it got. Even he was quiet. Like, he didn't couldn't believe that shit came out of his mouth. And then my, my native homie, he like, damn, he looking at me. He look over at me. And now, like, just in them seconds, man, that it was quiet, I just, like, damn. Just that quick, man, you try to stay out of the way. A motherfucker just get in your way. Like, you don't do that, like, in a joint. Like, that's fighting words. Just motherfuckers get cut over that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Now, I know I got to address this shit because I'm mad. Like, I, I ain't going to address it just because I have to. Like, that shit offended me. Like, I don't give a fuck about the CO. Like, he could talk as much shit as, about him as he want. But what the fuck that him being black had to do with it? Like, why he had to be a nigga? You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm saying. I was, like, I was like, man, hold on. I was like, man, hold the fuck up. I said, I said man, fuck you just say? I knew what he just said, but you know how we talk. Like, we just going to ask a motherfucker again just to confirm Fuck you just say? He like, oh man, 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 Kato, man, don't go there, man. We was just talking, and because like I said, we we knew each other, we was familiar with each other. We actually worked at the same job and shit. I'll tell y'all about that in a second. It ties in. So he like, man, don't you know, don't go there, man. You know, I I ain't mean nothing bad, and it just slipped out. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about the cop. I was like, I was like, that don't matter, motherfucker. I was like, when I ain't here, what you call me? He like, man, I ain't call you nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? We could just leave it at that. Now it's a big ass white boy. He bigger than me. He, he like, I ain't no, I ain't the biggest motherfucker, but I ain't no little motherfucker. And this motherfucker bigger than me, right? So I, I don't give a fuck how big the nigga is. But I'm just thinking about what this nigga said. So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, now I remember I told you I'm in a low security joint. This the shit that's want the one man. Now, if I get up and start beating his ass or fuck him up real bad or something happen, I can do that. Then I'm gonna get booked. I'm gonna go to the hole and I'm gonna get shipped out. And my security gonna go up. And I have been working hard trying to get my security level. That's how me and bro had got together. You know what I'm saying? So it was real delicate. Like me and his situation. Don't get it twisted, I ain't gonna even lie. We had to fuck him off up a couple of times, but we was able to move out of that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's real delicate, man. You can't be getting in jams and getting in trouble because then they're going to split you up. And that's just like inconvenience for me, for the family, for whatever. You know what I'm saying? We weren't trying to be split up. So if, if one of us got to go, it's already understood. If one of us got to go, let it be for a reason, basically. Don't be out here just sending, you know, just, just jumping off the roof, fucking everything up. We trying to we trying to do, we trying to come. We fighting our case together. You know, it's convenient that we living together. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and plus, that's my bro shit, man. We both on the same case. We got hit upside the head, you know. God blessed us to be together and do that shit together. Shit. 
basically like eighty percent of the time. So back to back to what happened. Back to the white boy. Now he said this shit. Now he kind of trying to walk himself out of. But I'm I'm thinking about everything. I'm like, damn, me and bro trying to go to a camp. That's gonna get fucked up. They gonna run the security. Not only are we not gonna be able to make it to a camp, they gonna split us up. Not only are they gonna split us up, they gonna run our security level. Well, not ours. Bro was gonna be straight because he wasn't out there. But I know he would end up being jacked out because he was gonna be so mad when he found out what happened. He gonna come out. He gonna start taking off on motherfuckers and he gonna get jammed up too. So basically us, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be fucked up. So I'm like, damn, what I'm gonna do? That's what I'm thinking in them seconds. So I tried it, I tried, y'all. I, I I missed it. I tried to take the high road, like, you know. And I'm like, look, dude. I'm talking about shit. I'm talking about I'm exploding on the inside, but I'm playing it cool. You can't like really show your emotions in there like that. I'm like, man, look. I said, man. You ignorant, man. I was like, you you said that shit, you're an ignorant racist motherfucker, man. I was like, under normal circumstances, I get on your ass. I was like, but you know, it just ain't conducive with what the fuck I'm trying to do, you know. And so by me, I shouldn't even say that because like it's a chess game in that motherfucker. So he know how that shit go. He thinking he like, oh this nigga, he don't want to jag himself off. He ain't finna do shit. You know what I'm saying? He he ain't finna do shit. This is what he thinking. I, I see it in his eyes. Oh he ain't finna do shit. He don't want to fuck up his security level. He don't want to get him and his brother split up. Like he, you know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers try to play on shit like that now. You know, try to press your buttons, see how far you'll go. So I'm like, okay. I, I exposed my hand by saying that. But I was just trying to, like, walk it off. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let you make it, man. So I get up. And, and when I start walking off, he was like, yeah, man, just go ahead and walk that shit off. I'm like, what? I was like, the fuck you just said? He was like, yeah, man, go ahead and fucking walk that shit off, man. I say I ain't fucking try to do it. Go fucking walk that shit off. I'm like, oh, shit. I walk. Like, halfway around the track. Like, I, I was finna walk track just to just... I, I'm telling I'm fighting with myself. Like, man, this nigga just treated me. Like, I, I'm... My pride hurt. He talking about nigga and shit in front of me. Then this nigga, he just... He, he talking crazy to me because he know... What I'm trying to do, I walk to the track, get like to the half of the track, man. And man, you all already know, I, man, I said, fuck that shit. I turned right back around. I walk back, I was like, hey, look, come here, let me holler at you. See how motherfuckers do right there? You gonna, you gonna go on the, you know, it can go down right there. But if a motherfucker ain't a hoe, they gonna go to the bathroom. The bathroom, ain't no cameras over there. We go in that motherfucker, ain't no police around. Like, we can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? We can go to the death in this motherfucker. So I'm like, look, I'm like, look. Bring your bitch ass over here to the to the bathroom and holler. Now when I say that, everybody taking the other white boys and shit stand up. Motherfucker get called to the bathroom. I look up. I'm by myself. I'm I'm, I'm the only like black motherfucker really that's right here while this shit going on. My native partner right there, like he my partner at work and shit, but he not finna ride. I don't know shit like that. I don't expect him to. I wasn't looking for him to. But I'm like, man, I gotta take care of this shit. So I'm like, man, look, let me holler at your bitch ass in the bathroom. So when I say that, he got to go all the way. He like, yeah, oh, fucking yeah, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Come on, let's go. So we walk to the bathroom. He puffing up and shit, taking his shit off. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? All tatted up and shit. Like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm like, okay. I get in the bathroom first. I'm in that motherfucker like, I have a million things running my head. I was like, man, I'm finna go crazy on the way. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. What happened? He going to know he was in a fight in this motherfucker. So I'm like, boom, he come to the motherfucking bathroom. As soon as he come in that motherfucker, he started trying to like like talk like as an introduction of fighting type shit. I don't know why motherfuckers do that shit anyway. He come to the bathroom like, yeah, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? As soon as he start talking, boop, boop, I get him with dudes. He like, oh shit. He fall back. He like, all right, come on, motherfucker. So we just squaring up, like ain't nowhere to go in this motherfucker. I'm talking about I'm I'm I'm, I'm head up this motherfucker like, you know what I'm saying? He he and, and I swear, at that moment when he took his when his punches, all I swear. Look, I, I wasn't smoking, I had to stop smoking cigarettes. I wasn't smoking no weed, none of that shit. All me and bro doing walking the track, playing ball, and fucking eating, you know what I'm saying? Eating fucking tuna and mackerel and shit. 
Man, at that point, I knew that I was finna beat that white boy ass. Cause when he swung back, I swear that shit was like the Matrix. He was slow as fuck. He threw his shit back. I let him, I just wanted to see what he had. I thought, boom, boom. I was gonna keep going. I wanted to see what he had. I boom, boom. He came back with shit. I felt some wind behind his punches. Like, while I got caught with one of them motherfuckers, that bitch, it, it, it would've, you know, it would've moved me a little bit. But he swung, man. I had time to goddamn it, uh, uh, brush my beard while this nigga was slow as hell. He swung, man. I'm like, oh, man. I let him get his little first swing. I was over. He just kept coming to his pride. His homies was out there and shit. I'm in that mo. Every time he came home, boom, boom. He was catching him right on, boom, boom. I'm talking, I ain't never been that lucky in a fight. Maybe one other time in my life where it just, he just kept running into him. It was like, boom, boom, Ed. Like a video game, boom, boom. And then I hit his ass one time, boom, boom. His motherfucking nose split open on top. Shit started playing. He was like, oh, fuck. He was like, fuck, motherfucker, you trying to keep fighting. And then he just copped out. Like, you motherfucker. And then he, 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 like, basically ran out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. So I'm thinking, motherfucker, I'm in that motherfucker. Turn. I'm like, what's up? Who want it? Who want it? You know what I'm saying? I had, like I said, I had been there for so long and knew so many people. Even some of the white boys who was running shit. My boy Mike, man. My boy, uh, my boy Donovan, man. Like, they ran, they ran shit, but I had did so much time with them. Like, they fuck with me heavy. Like, I don't know why. For whatever reason, they messed with me real heavy. They had big respect for me. I, I showed them they respect, like, as far as they ain't getting my way, I ain't getting my way. They know it was even. Like, I wasn't trying to get over there on they people. They wasn't trying to, it was just all respect. So, when that shit happened, they kind of watched it play out and they understood why that had to happen. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't jump. They was like, I came out the bathroom, shit, my shirt off. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking crazy and shit, like ready. They like, basically give me the nod and shit. Like, they open it up. I come through that motherfucker. I'll get back to the motherfucking unit. Get back. They call the move. I get back to the unit. Hurry up, go to the unit, try to take a shower and shit, make sure there's no blood on me. You know, take, take the motherfucking clothes. I take my motherfucker, because I had got a little blood on the shirt. And I think, uh, I don't know if I have my khakis on or something. I just kind of like ripped the shirt up, threw it away, some motherfucking wearing shit. But I went back to the unit. Bro, get back to the unit. He like, man, what the fuck you done did? I'm like, what? He like, these motherfucking white boys, why all these white boys walking up to me? Like they trying to holler at me and shit. Like you done, you done did something, you done jumped on the motherfucker. You know, now they got back like, now I'm the villain and shit. Like I'm just out there picking on this big ass white boy, this big ass racist ass white boy with nooses and shit tatted on their ass and shit. So I'm like, man, I'm like, man, bro, you know what it is? I'm like that nigga, that nigga said nigga in front of me. Like what? He was like, shit, say less. He like, what you want to do? I'm like, it's whatever, man. I'm like, I'm like, I don't think they want to do shit. You know what I'm saying? So they shot call. He came holler at me and shit. I go holler at him. He like, man, look. He was like, man, you ain't got no problems for the white boy. You did what you had to do. He was like, I understand as a man what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, we about what we about, but we ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, we don't do that. You ain't gonna never hear me saying no shit like that. That's how he, they, they was carrying it. You know what I'm saying? And I respected that shit. And he respected my move. But hey, we still in jail. Motherfucker got to get some kind of retribution. So... Basically, I ain't gonna say motherfuckers was scared of me and bro, but motherfuckers ain't wanna move on me. And the, and dudes that didn't see he didn't have the white boys su support. So basically, I ain't gonna say he snitched, but some basically he did. I don't give a fuck. He had somebody to do it anyway. Next day at work, police come get me. You know what I'm saying? The COs call me police, whatever. They come get me. I'm at work. I work in Unicor. I'll tell you all about the job. I work in Unicor. When you go to Unicor. That's like the best job in prison. Like, sometimes it take a long time to get in that motherfucker or you gotta know somebody to be able to get in there because you can get a job paying you two, three, four, I've seen motherfuckers make four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. You know what I'm saying, working in union court, depending on what you do, you know what I'm saying? And I had the most coveted job, you know what I'm saying? Anybody tell you, I was the, um, like the head clerk. So when I went to work, like they was working out on the floor on the machines and shit. I had, I was in the office, I had the motherfucker, like the COs had they little two little offices, and then you come outside the man, I had my desk and all my shit right there with the computer. Like, it was a necessity for them to hire motherfuckers like us, because 
we knew more about the computers. We knew more about like how the business ran than the COs. Like they was just kind of trying to come do their eight hours and go home again. They was some of them motherfuckers making good money working on Unicorn. So that was like a big job for them and shit too. So they kind of they kind of let us kind of have our way, especially if if you brought value to the shit. And like I said, like sometimes them motherfuckers didn't even know how to like order shit on the credit cards through the computers. Like they would have to come to me like, hey, we need to get this ordered, you know, because this is multi million dollar company, Unicorn multi million dollar company. Like I should see the reports. Me and my me and my guy, I got him hired. Another little young native cat. He was fucking brilliant. His name Hensley, man. Shout out Thomas Hensley, man. I remember you, boy. He was fucking. This dude like was like super, super fucking smart, man. I get him on the team. Once I got him on the team, like they couldn't fuck with us. Like we we basically just motherfucker got to come to us to get a job. Motherfucker got to come to us. You know what I'm saying? So. I, like I said, I was plugged. I had the best. I was making. I was making some good money and shit. So motherfuckers always was kind of coming for that job, like on bullshit. Motherfuckers set you up, put something in your motherfucking, you know, put some, put some, try to put some shit on, stash some shit on, and you and you just draw or something, get you bumped off. So police come get me anyway. Police come get me. I'm at work. I'm at the desk. They come in. I know they come. I like them. They come and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen them as soon they walk in the motherfucking building. They walking through the thing and shit. They come. I'm like, damn, my heart start beating like a motherfucker. I'm like, damn, they finna bump me. I'm faking this shit. Yeah, like I'm doing. I ain't type of shit. I ain't looking at shit. Like, yeah. Whole time I'm clocking their ass. They come in that motherfucker. They know me too. Now, the, the motherfucking, it's crazy. So the dude who come get me, he a captain now. No, he a lieutenant now. Lieutenants and captains, they, they they call the shots in the joint for the for the guards. Warden don't really never be there. They ain't, they ain't really know, you know. They get the final say, but them the motherfuckers who run the shit, the lieutenants and the captains. So lieutenant coming out, showing out his name. I ain't gonna even say his name, but he coming out. And uh, he like, uh, I see him. He come in. He's like, he's like, Seymour, stop bullshit, man. Come on, you know, you know what's up. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, what you talking about? He's like, man, come on, man, stop bullshit. He's like, you know what's up, come on, man. I'm like, all right, man. <sighs> hit my little coffee and shit. I have my little coffee machine and shit, my coffee. I'm like, fuck, <sighs> hit my shit. We go out, I'm like, man, let me tell bro I'm gone. He like, go on, holler at him. I, I, the road, bro, bro, see me? I'm like, bro, they taking me up. He like, all right, bro. I go up. Get in that motherfucker. So they get me in the motherfucker um, in the room. They like, look, we already know what happened, but we gonna ask you what happened. What happened? I was like, well, basically, I don't know what you're talking about. They was like, come on, man. They was like, look, we already see the guy. He got fucking scars and shit all over his face. They checked my hands too. And for whatever it dude was old salt face ass motherfucker. My shit wasn't scarred up, like my shit wasn't like busted up from hitting him. So they couldn't tell, they looking at my hands and shit. They like, I don't see no scars and shit. He like, all right, look, they say you beat this motherfucking white boy ass on the motherfucking yard. They say you beat his ass cause he called you a nigga. You know, they had, they had kind of the story, but it was kind of all, they was like, they say you beat his ass cause he called you a nigga. And the, I was with the, the lieutenant that came and got me. He was a white boy. But the um, the the captain was black. You know what I'm saying? So we go in there. The captain talking. He like, look, we, we, he called you a nigga. You beat his ass. We know. He like, we want to know, you know, what's going on. Like, is this going to be a fucking a ride behind that shit? Like, that's what we were. But you had to beat his ass. You had to beat his ass. But we try, I'm like, look, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like... Y'all got me mixed up in some shit. Like, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? I know they don't got shit on no camera or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, they like... So, everybody out there... He was like... They had us on camera on the yard. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like... I made us some shit. Like, man, we was over there, man. Everybody, they was over there throwing the motherfucking ball. Uh, motherfuckers out there practicing with the baseball and shit. And uh, I guess the, maybe the ball jumped up and hit him or something. I heard something like that. So the captain started laughing and shit. Now the lieutenant, 
the captain didn't want to like lock me up over the shit, but I think he was just he was gonna lock me up because he was thinking it was gonna be bigger than that. But the white lieutenant, remember I told you, man, I've been there for so long. He was one of the motherfuckers that was there when I first came in, and he worked over in Unicorn. So I worked with him for like four years every day. Like, I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker tell you when you're doing that kind of time. You don't fuck with, like, you ain't fucking with the police on no, you got some motherfuckers who do that shit. They like get in with the police, be on some weasel shit, giving up information, you know, gain position with the cops and all that shit. I wasn't on none of that shit. So we like gained a mutual understanding and a respect just every day. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker right over there, he got to come out to me. Hey, I need these reports. Think you can get them done? Like he couldn't do shit. Like his bosses won't done. He just trying to get his eight hours. He ain't got no clue how this shit work. I ain't gonna even lie. He be like, look, y'all run this shit, man. Like help. Like show me. So I had a reports and shit, get that shit did. It wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? They was paying me good. Not like for standards of outside pay. Like that was slave paying that, but under the jail rules, like they was paying me good and shit. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll have the shit ready and shit, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they look good for their bosses and all that. So this is years of building with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you gon' you gonna gain some kind of like mutual like understanding with a motherfucker, even if it is a cop. So me and dude, we understood each other, man. We'll chop it up. He'll tell me about how his vacation went and shit, you know what I'm saying? Talk about all kind of shit, man. And um he the lieutenant now and I'm in there. So he like, look. He like, look, Seymour. Check this out. Is anything else gonna happen behind this? I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about, but if it was something going on, you got my word that ain't, you know, it's, it ain't nothing gonna happen behind it. He was like, you got my word, man. He, he, he was like, uh, I'm gonna take your word. He was like, but you know, I, we just trying to figure out like why somebody would lie on you like this, you know what I'm saying? That's it. I was like, shit, man, I got the, I got really the best job in here, man. Motherfuckers always trying to get me bumped off, so, you know, that vacancy come, they can get that job. You know how this shit go? And they kind of like, you know, the captain was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. You right, you do got a good job, boy. You better watch your back in there. Everybody want that job type shit. And I'm like, man, you know, I use that, finesse that situation. But the, but the white boy, he knew what was up. He kind of, he the one really kind of, he kind of bailed me out that situation, man. Salute to you. But uh, they give me back. Motherfuckers see me coming back. They bring me back to the building. Motherfuckers see me coming back. Oh, it was, I take it back, it was, it was another motherfucker, man, this Mexican dude, man, he was cool as hell, man, he was a real motherfucker, man, he, he came to me, before they even came and got me, he, he the one helping, uh, he the one told me the story to tell me, he's like, look, bro, he said, if, if, if you have to say anything, bro, just say we was all out there playing ball, and he might have got hit with the ball, he was like, man, I'll vouch for that shit, I'm like, you, you for real, bro, he ain't had no reason to do that, he just was like, man, I fuck with you, man, you a good dude. I'm like, man, I appreciate that shit. So, man, salute to you, man. Wherever the fuck you at, man. Thank you for lying for me, man. Thank you for lying for me, man. Because you knew I beat the shit out of that white boy. I appreciate you, my dog. He was like Mexican fucking uh, cartel or some shit. But salute to you. Anyhow, get back. Bro, like, man, he just gave me the thumbs up. Go back to doing his job. Go back to doing my job. White boys ain't say nothing about it. I see dude ass, he was at work and shit. He was looking all stupid. I walked past the machine and shit. His fucking shit was blue and shit. He got a little fucking thing on his nose and shit looking stupid. I walked past him and shit. He... I'm like, wow. But anyway, that's one of them crazy stories, man, from the feds, man. I got like a thousand more. If y'all fucking with this, man, give me a like, give me a subscribe, share. Keep messing with me, man. I'm going to keep dropping content for y'all, man. Stay in tune. This Keyhole Vision, man. I'm out of here. Salute. Trying to find something to do to give me some K. Ay, 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 that's not how I move, that's not how I play. I can't be fooled, I know that you fake, but this about money, I gotta get paid. Ay, she loving the music, I gotta pick and the chosen. Lock down, I don't gotta move.